Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. The reason why I'm calling this video Creativity Explosion is because I've had somewhat of a creativity explosion over the last few days. I decided to declutter my space and somehow instead of decluttering, I started madly creating and this is the result. I wanted to show you the things that I've made in the hopes that it will inspire a little bit of a creativity explosion within you too. Most of the things I'm about to show you don't require any type of special instructions or tutorial type video. So I'll just show you things and you know how this goes, right? One thing leads to another, to another, to another. And before you know it, you've gone mad, but in a good way. All right, let me show you what I've got. Let's start off with simple, simple, simple. It doesn't get any simpler than this. All I did here is grab some pieces of paper or tea dyed paper and went ahead and just went a little bit crazy with sewing scraps of fabric directly on and look at all of this. These can be individual pages that I can bind into my journals as I go. They're ready to go. Or this can be a journal on its own. There we go, placed in a signature and it's got all these beautiful fabrics. I don't know how I feel about this being the journal on its own. I would much rather just sprinkle these pages throughout a journal. And you can see it's nothing elaborate, it's just little pieces of fabric sewn directly onto the pages. And here I've got a postage stamp, you know, you can do all sorts of little things like that. A bit of lace, a bit of fabric, a bit of this and a bit of that. And it's such a little simple thing that adds fun to any journal. Next thing I made is this little thing. It's not really a journal because I used paper bags only and that's my fabulous closure. You can see so much thought went into that. Actually, a little bit of thought did go into that. And it's just paper bags, three paper bags that I have folded in half, bound in the middle, just with a stapler, you see? I reinforced that middle part there just to give it some structure and I've got all sorts of bits and pieces in all of the bags. So essentially three bags, all different sizes and that gives me six pockets to fill up with all sorts of fun stuff. And then for the closure, just a leftover piece. Actually, this is leftover from another project I'm about to show you. Put a little flower here and this is the closure. Not bad. The idea was to just create, create, create without thinking too much. I'll show you this one next because that is the paper that I used here. It was a leftover piece from this. All this is, I made three of these and it's just two little envelopes. Like this opens up, I'll show you in a moment. It's two little envelopes here at the front that open up, they glue down with a little piece of paper that opens up for journaling. This is glued underneath the envelope, so that's not going anywhere. I also made those envelopes from six by six paper. Doesn't take very long either. And then uh, what is it? I'm not sure what it is. It can be a page in a journal or it can be a little ephemera uh, folder just on its own. I used uh, some strips of paper here, leftovers from cutting this down and made that into a belly band. And then I can go ahead and tuck little things under there, like this is all tucked in. And that's it. It's really simple. Simple does it. And that's a nice, cute little thing I have now ready to go inside a journal, perhaps sprinkled in with these, that sprinkled in with that. You know what I mean. Speaking of journals, next thing I did is just a journal cover. This is avocado dyed. Obviously this was done previously. I covered it with scrapbook paper and washi tape here. I made a little book plate and all it needs is a signature and I can go ahead and make a signature out of these. Cover ready to go. Next, I went a little bit crazy creating pouches. Okay, how practical are these pouches? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, this is a little like a journaling spot and this idea came from using up these stickers i've had these stickers for so long they're actually wall stickers for like your kids rooms and stuff like that i was going to laminate them i didn't know what to do with them and then all i did is grab some scrapbook paper folded it up sewn around made it into a pocket and used up all of those stickers because i'm decluttering right and uh, i had two options 
get rid of it or use it up so i used it up this one has an extra pocket here so a pocket and a pocket and i just went a little bit pocket crazy and there we go that can be clipped into a page in a journal here's the next little thing i made when i made these i was so overly excited about this not sure why i was so excited about it but i was it's kind of like uh, luggage tags i suppose but not really because you can't really write on them i just did it without thinking i just went creating this is some type of a vinyl you know how long i've had this for that vinyl since i've made this journal which was about i think seven or eight years ago and I painted on it and here's the little journal and I still have it because it was one of the first journals that I made and I really want to make a tutorial on it and you can see the back here I did that same type of thing that I did here well these are actually off cuts so anyway I've had those off cuts for that many years and finally I used them up I have a flip through of this journal on my channel it was one of the first videos I've made and still I haven't done a tutorial would you like a tutorial it's pretty cool next thing I did is I played around with some acetate so this was actually one of those plastic accordion folders and it fell apart so I took out the plastic sleeves and just made little things like this and a little pouch I don't know I'm just pouch crazy lately and just sewn you can see the sewing at the back sewn it down sewn it shut this one here is gonna go into a journal it's got like a pocket type thing so that can be sprinkled in you know along with the other pages i've made this here is covered with washi tape and this washi tape can be removed and then i've got four little pockets inside here for some tags again this is a page ready to be bound into a journal next thing i did is kind of just a little bit of a i don't know what is it i have no idea not a page that can be bound into a journal it's not something you can write on it's just a little thing that i made without thinking too much a leaf and a little tuck there and i have a thing it's a thing then i made some more little things these are just clusters again i think this is how i came uh, onto this idea the pages right i just started sewing some fabrics together and then you know i had these little pieces that i can do whatever with this can be a little pocket type thing in a journal because it's backed onto a book page so you know pocket mad i am so there we go just three pieces of those next thing i have and i went absolutely mad with these and i made a whole lot all I did here is two pieces of scrapbook paper and actually this was a baby type scrapbook paper on the other side it had welcome baby and all that kind of stuff which I'm not going to use so I backed them together my goodness so much fun stuff we can do this is what I mean it's just scrapbook paper that I had to cut down and it's got this baby girl new arrival type thing so all I did is back them together like that nothing special and then I sewn around, added a little book page, added a little ephemera piece. I did the same thing on all of them, little butterfly or whatnot, and a stamp. My $1 eBay stamp just stamped three little spots on all of them. And, you know, madness, madness. I was like, I was, I was absolutely going absolutely mad. And of course, you know, the back is for writing. So it does serve a purpose then how exciting is this not very exciting which is why i only made four didn't go mad with these ones just a piece of fabric and a little off cut piece of scrapbook paper and a little stamp and i made a uh, little faux postage stamps it's just too labor intensive for this tiny little thing so i gave up after making four this was a quite a fun little thing it's just a book page really nothing to it that i made into envelopes and then i just popped down some uh, scrapbook paper washi tape that's what that is just washi tape and it makes them look so much better it doesn't look like just a book page look at this one all of these are from washi tape shop i have a coupon code i'm gonna link it down below just in case if you wanted to check them out look at that very simple little bits and pieces that can go inside a journal all right let me show you this one this is a gift bag a tiny little gift bag you can see from the back uh, i've done these types of projects before i think i even have a video and this is a 
you know, a little tag. And then inside, all I did, it's really nothing too amazing. But inside, I have a little journal. Yay, little journal. Grateful. Actually, I'm wearing a top that says grateful. Okay, that's not relevant. So this journal lives inside this bag. How simple is this? It was a beautiful bag and all I did was glue the sides down here, just that to create that into a pocket. And look at this little beauty. This is gonna go into my treasure box. You might have seen in my Etsy shop. Sometimes I have listings of treasure boxes full of handmade goodies, which is different to the mixed ephemera box. Anyway, this is the type of stuff that goes into that box. Okay, so what I did here, I made two journals. I made these last night and it's just a little cover and then a bigger cover. And then this is the cover of the journal, a little sticker here. I've been so stingy with these stickers because they're absolutely beautiful. They're from Tapeology, I'm pretty sure. I have a link. I will have a link. Anyway, uh, I'll link everything I remember down below. And here's the journal. That's all that is. The covers and the little journal. I made a, a video a little while back. I'll link it down below. Making a journal with a small cover. Just a little cover. It was this size, not this size. And then, you know, because why do you need to have... A full-sized cover something like that it was along those lines I'll link that video down below if you wanted to have a look next thing I did are these flowers and I actually made 26 of these flowers and I do have a tutorial on how you can make them from lace so I will link that tutorial down below and how cute do they look I have a whole box of all different ones these were made back when I did that tutorial not in the last few days which is why I'm not including them into this video but Oh, they're just so cool and there's just so many and it doesn't take long at all next thing I did again I went a little bit pouch crazy so this is just two book pages and I made them into little pouches uh, this is an ongoing project so I've done these before because I have these images that are cut out from a magazine and because I'm decluttering I just wanted to use up the images so I made more of these and then I got sick of doing these and I had a lot more of those images left. So what I did then is, okay, went crazy again, but what I did, let's pick this one. So I had those little images, they're all from magazines. I took a little memo pad that I purchased just the other day from the post office, it was $3 Australian. I popped the sticker down, it's not a sticker, it's an image, I popped it down and I covered it with contact paper. Just to give, you see, I don't know. I like it. I like that look. And then I sewn it directly onto this tag, this tag that opens up. All of them open up like this. And you can see the sewing at the back. Doesn't matter, does it? And then I have this little tag living in there. So now I have all of these tags that I can just look at that. Uh, is it practical? I mean, you can glue a little piece of paper down. Oh, how cool does that look for a little bit of journaling, you know? I made all of these last night. I just didn't stop until I was done. And look, finally, I have used up all of those images. So I suppose you can say I decluttered. I kind of did declutter because finally I used them up. I never throw anything away because I think I'm gonna use it one day. That day is here. Next thing I have here, I actually received a happy mail package. And the lady who sent this to me, one of my lovely subscribers, thank you so very much. This is the package that she covered the envelope that she had all of my laces and things that she sent me. She made this uh, into the packet, like she covered the envelope with all this beautiful stuff. And of course, I salvaged what I could. All I did, pretty much nothing. I just cut it up, sewn around, and that's it. Oh, this piece is my piece. Everything else was the way the package was. So, oh my goodness, look at that. These three pieces have seen the world. Then we've got some random little pieces. They are journaling spots. It's just fabric and a little piece of ephemera. Just lots of sewing, okay? I, uh, I love sewing. I mean, I don't actually love the, uh, the process of sewing, but I love the look of sewing. All of this stuff can be done with just glue. All right, have a look at that. How many journals do you think I can fill up with all this stuff? I reckon plenty. Here's the next thing that I did. They are envelopes, but they're not envelopes. They, they open up. So basically, 
it was just a piece of paper it's like handmade paper and I made it into this envelope shape I added this little two pieces of embellishment little leaf flower and bread and that's holding the bread is holding everything together tied a piece of string just under there and that's my closure it just goes around like this and done that was a very quick thing to do all right Whew, this one's fun let me show you this one i went lamination crazy so these are all laminated little pieces and i'm about to tell you where these images came from some of them i attached this chain onto some i just left them as they are i just you know added scrapbook paper and then i don't know what is this it's a, it's a thing another one all right i'm going to tell you where these images came from maybe you recognize them this is what they came from so this is a catalog for puzzles and cross stitch and look at some of these images look at this beautiful image you can see cross stitch right so this is you know so you can oh it's a catalog and then what i do when i'm sitting in front of the tv which isn't very often sometimes you know when i go to my parents house we're chatting i'd be cutting out images then i laminated them as you can see and made them into a little thing a little embellishment this is just off cuts of scrapbook paper that i've laminated look at this one it looks like a book spine and they're basically bookmarks so i just you know popped some stickers down i had the laminator going so i thought might as well look at this one also looks like a book spine so i just laminated a whole lot of things and then what i've got here this is going to serve as a writing board inside a journal and this actually came from a quilting catalog right so i just backed two pieces down together and here we go and then again look at this one it's got a little charm on the side laminated writing board it's going to go inside a journal this is a magazine cutout image you know i don't use printables printables would make my life much easier but i just don't so this is also cut out from a magazine or a book laminated and they oh i love love these this is from a book i also backed two images down or two book pages down and laminated them I'll show you the book I got this book many years ago and my local op shop or secondhand store wanted to get rid of the books like they had it at the front uh, you know i think i paid a dollar for a whole lot of these books and i felt so bad cutting into them that i didn't for years i just kept them but look at these images so now that i'm decluttering i had two options i can send them back to the op shop i don't know what they're going to do with them are they going to destroy them because nobody wants to buy it i don't know so because i'm decluttering i decided to go ahead and use the book up i did feel a little bit bad i did i admit but there you have it i'm going to use the whole thing and here's what i made so far a writing board for a journal it's really cute i really like it so uh, I'm going to think of other things to uh, to use the book for. Next thing I have over here is just a piece of fun. <laughs> so I have an envelope. I have bits and pieces. I popped little bits and pieces inside this blessing bag that I decided to sew around, even though it was already a bag. And then just a little thing, you know, leftover piece of scrapbook paper. What is it? It's a little little piece of ephemera, right? some tickets some you know tags a little doily that's been tea dyed that somebody can use i can pop this also inside a journal this is a sticker and a little envelope right here with oh what's this another little sticker in there using things up made a little thing it's fun the creative process is so much fun uh, i'll show you this now I'm not going to show you these underneath because they're very reflective it might be annoying and what is it i know you can't really see in the video but these are altered what are they called jigsaw puzzles i also have a video on this basically they're kids jigsaw puzzles and i removed the top shiny layer i painted them it's got gold you can't really see perhaps you can see on this one a little bit better you can't really see oh you can see me hello so anyway, I did a whole lot of stuff. I didn't do that in the last few days. I had these ready and then I just made this thing. And this perhaps can be a travels notebook 
piece that's going to go on a travels notebook perhaps i don't know we'll see i just made things just went with it this is a little collage that i did with uh, some of this foil paper i scrunched it up and glued it down and then i glued another piece of paper down this is like handmade paper just glued pieces of paper down right just little off cuts that i have I mean look at this look at this look at this this is just one of the boxes that i have with these random pieces of paper right like look what what is this you know i can't throw anything away that's my problem i think a lot of us have that problem so a lot of the things that i'm about to show you came from that one box and then i popped down a little chipboard piece here tied a bit of gold string around it a little bit of this this was sent to me in happy mail i mean look how stunning this is i don't even know what it's called look at it and then what is this going to be it can be a journal most definitely i can bind some pages in here this is just scrapbook paper i just made a little something it's not done it could be i can make pockets here pop some ephemera down or a journal and another one of those as well this one is not nearly as spectacular in the video as it is in real life it looks so much better in real life and again same thing exact same thing i had this piece and this one also so again you know i had this piece ready to go and then i just layered some of this some book page some of this beautiful handmade paper that came from that box that i've just shown you and then all handmade paper in there this is all from that box i just picked out larger pieces and made a little journal and bound it and here's a little journal here's another little piece from that box it can be a belly band it can be i don't know a belly band let's just leave it at that oh it can be uh, an embellishment for a journal like this for example maybe i don't know so these are punch outs flowers you know that have been punched out and how cool does that look it looks intentional it looks like that's the reason why i punched out these flowers but it's not it was just an off cut and then i have some buttons sewn in there this one says handmade with love and just some stitching and i just made a little thing this is one of the first things that i've made okay then i went a little bit crazy creating these and this is some vintage comic book very very fragile paper very fragile so what i did is i backed it onto some cardstock and sewn around and look at this they look so cool i they i absolutely love how this looks and i've had this comic book for a while now this was sent to me in happy mail and i think it's from the 50s it's vintage is it from 50s i'm not sure because the uh, it's very fragile i mean what else am i going to do it sometimes people think why are you destroying it what else like are you going to hang it up on your wall and caress it every day you know i don't know it's better to make things with it what do you think what are your thoughts next thing i did is this this is an ongoing project this is something that i made all the time i'm in, only including these four five because these are the ones that i made in the last few days i have a video on this i'll link it down below it's just using up your leftover scraps and you're creating rolls of ruffles paper ruffles and how fabulous does this look and basically this is all you know when i use up my thread on my machine if it's something that i can use like this one here i will keep it and i will have my ruffle rolls around uh, for example i'll use this one next when i've used up all of my thread and then this is the type of thing that i pop into my treasure boxes as well and of course i also use it in my journals i pop them on edge of pages and things like that and i also make them from ribbon and this is tissue paper so it doesn't have to just be paper i think that's pretty cool too this one here doesn't have any colorful paper on it but i just wanted to kind of show you it's just a little paper ruffle with well, that's actually bias tape up the top, just using things up. And ever since I made that video, which was a while ago, it was quite a popular video, I am still making them weekly, still making them. Next thing I have is this little journal, uh, also came from that box with that I showed you before. And I had these uneven pieces of handmade paper, and it was just sitting there for years and years and years because you know i'm going to use it one day so all i did is it's you know just nothing spectacular again poked some holes here and make made it into a little type 
book and just embellished it with some buttons didn't have to point that out pretty obvious that they're buttons but here we go a little booklet then when i was making things with that hidden under all the stuff in here this is just madness the best kind of madness when i was making these pouches i had little leftover pieces of that plastic bit so I've sewn them down onto this large tag, oversized tag on both sides and I have little pockets. Popped some little interesting bits and pieces, have a little thing up here again, that eBay stamp that I've shown you. I've shown you this in my last video too. Such a simple little thing that makes such a special looking little embellishment. All right, oversized tag, there it is. Then I've shown you a quick glimpse of this. It's just a little journal, non embellished, just some pages. And this is cardstock, popped a piece of fabric paper over the cardstock, sewn around, and created this little beauty. This one here, I didn't embellish like I did here with this cluster, fabric cluster, because this one already kind of has a little something up there. Maybe I can pop a little closure down. I love this. Oh. These two were hidden. Uh, so uh, more of these. Look at this one. I love this one. These bits here are those bottom strips on scrapbook paper. And I always keep them and then I make these paper ruffle rolls. This one was hiding in the box too. All right. So here's another thing. This is just craziness galore. I've got all sorts of things in here. So just gluing things down. Gluing things down from a paper bag. A crunched up paper bag just full of stuff and there we have it this again came from that box this is from a little notepad and i just made a thing i don't know something to go in a journal and then this totally useless pointless what is it you know can you write on it i suppose you could but let me tell you i thoroughly enjoyed making it so perhaps that's the only point of that one next thing i have here are again book pages or uh, you know that are ready to go into a signature it's just paper with a washi tape here on the side again that washi tape i've shown you before and a book page here these are cut out from a magazine it was actually oh, and this is just something i was trying to use up these blue papers so that's how this project came about and all of these images all of them cutouts from a stamp catalog an old stamp catalog where you could see the image of the stamp and then order the stamp so that's all that is and i cut these out years ago and they were just sitting there in that little bag big bag actually look at how many i've got this is years like years ago that i cut these out see all from the you know catalog I remember I purchased the catalog, probably not something I would do now. Found the catalog in a secondhand store and I purchased it just so I can cut stuff out. Probably wouldn't be doing that again because it's very labor intensive cutting all those little bits and pieces out. But it inspired this project, so there we have it. Okay, what do we have here? These are all magazine images you if you watch my channel you know that i don't use printables i love finding images in magazines then backing them onto some cardstock and creating these journaling spots and here's one this one can be like a bookmark and we are slowly nearing the end again these they're not showing up in all their glory because they've all been embossed and these are just stickers on some black cardstock I've glued the stickers down and then I embossed the whole thing and then I made these tags. And also on some of them I've used little postage stamps and they're not actual postage stamps. They're also from a catalog, postage stamp catalog. You know, when I first started this craft, I'm sure that many of you can relate. When I first discovered junk journals, it was a hobby of mine to go into op shops and look for things. I did more shopping and looking and searching than I did creating. And I think a lot of us go through that when we discover a new thing, we go looking for materials and we start seeing the world with in, you know, in a different light or in different ways. And everything you find, you think I can use that for something, uh, you know, I can use that for something like I can cut up all the images from this magazine. I must have the magazine. And then you end up just overpowered by all of the stuff. I 
think a lot of us go through that stage and that stage lasted quite a while for me actually where I did more wandering around and looking for things than I did creating and now I'm in the creating stage and I have been for years I very rarely buy anything this is napkin transfer onto some file folder you can see I have a video on this and I've made plenty of these and I just keep me even though I did a video on this it's a project that keeps that I keep doing so oftentimes I will make a video like for example these altered I mentioned them before they're puzzle pieces and I made this tutorial and I made all of these pieces and I made the video and this is not something that I'm going to go back to I really don't think so so some of the projects I do I make a tutorial I have all of the pieces I use them up in my projects or I pop them into the treasure you know uh, the treasure box that I was mentioning. Look at this. How cool does that look? That's cheesecloth. By the way, I have a video on this. Of course, I'm going to link it down below. This isn't a part of my creative explosion that I had a few days ago. Uh, but anyway, oh, look at these. They're not even finished yet. So I just kind of popped them to the side. Same thing with these. I don't know if you remember these. Maybe you haven't seen the video where you're using off cuts of scrapbook paper and previous projects and you make these cool whimsical looking houses i'll link this video down below so this was all done previously this is also not i don't know why i'm showing you this why am i showing you this they're journaling spots and i have so many look at them i love them look at this one look at this one and this one and this one the reason why i'm showing you is because i wanted to say some projects uh once i make the video it's done i'm not going to go back to it depends on how much i enjoy the project and how labor intensive it is whereas these sorts of things napkins you know it doesn't take very long so i go back and i do it over and over again and i make little journals and i bind pages in here and i sell them or i give them and then i make some more and then i use them up and then i make some more and it just keeps on going and then these are not all that exciting but it's just a little off cut piece from a paper bag and a little something else book page that i have done that on what even is that some water coloring and then just bits and pieces anyway it's not that exciting why did i finish with that maybe i can show you something a bit more exciting i just want to finish the video with something a little bit more exciting than that last piece i've shown you this also wasn't all created in the creative explosion day this is also a tutorial that i will link down below and as you know i'm here to inspire you today and i hope that's what you're getting out of this video basically you can see they all have in common the book page that i have folded a certain way a lot of you that watch my channel will have watched this video it was quite a popular video and i made all sorts of different things look at this where's my favorite piece let's see Oh, this one's pretty cool. This one's pretty cool. Love that one. That one's pretty cool. Actually, I will finish off with this because this is something that I create all the time. And I also did a tutorial on these a while ago. And it's called Scrappy Staggered Notebooks. And basically, you are just using offcuts again. And you're making scrappy staggered notebooks. They're just scraps of paper and fabric. And you just pop them together and make a little fun visually fun little project i think this one here is the one that i made in that video maybe i'm not sure i particularly for some reason like this one you can see it's just little things all over the place just little off cuts i mean seriously do we need to keep all the little bits and pieces no we don't we do not want to be hoarders i have to keep reminding myself of that which is why i'm here today that was the whole point i'm not a hoarder i am going to declutter i am going to get rid of stuff well it didn't really work out that way i didn't get rid of anything i just created maybe not these but all of this okay we'll hide this one because it's not all that interesting all of this like a mountain of stuff so does that make me a hoarder if i uh, am actually using the things that i have i don't know maybe if i have too much of one thing i shall ponder that question until next time, if you're still here, let me know. Did you watch to the end? How inspired are you feeling? I really hope you feel inspired because when I started filming this video, I, my hand was shaking because I was so excited to show you 
it, during this whole creative explosion process, let me tell you something, no housework was done. Absolutely none. I did the bare minimum. I had to look after my children and that's pretty much it. And this, okay, far more important than housework in my books. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh wait, but did I show you this and 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 more of that and more of that and this 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 and this